You guys analyze the fluid that comes out of the gearbox. Yep. What kind of symptoms would there be with a gearbox beginning to deteriorate and fail? Hard shifting is one of them. You'll hear like a loud clunk or when the vehicle rolls, you'll hear some clicking noises, things like that. What that comes down to is there's a shift paw mechanism in there. And basically, this motor is what drives the, the shifting. So when you push your car into park, this will rotate. It basically rotates the shaft and pushes this into a piston that goes into the side here. And I'm not sure if we can catch this on the camera or not. So inside here, this is the, uh, the parking mechanism or the gear. And then the shift pop goes in and locks it in place. And so, if you hear that sort of noise, my car is still rolling, something's going on inside this transmission, and that's time to get it looked at. When we split these open, there's a magnet that's down at the bottom. This is the lower part where the differential would go in. We see a lot of uh, material in there, so anytime you get the vehicle in for service, make sure the, the gearbox gets the oil drained, inspected, mm -hmm. and get it replaced. It'll help keep the wear from accelerating. You guys analyze the fluid that comes out of the gearbox. Yep. What are you looking for? Any metal flakes. It's kind of like grayish color to actual metal that you can see reflecting in like if you're gold panning. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, a good yeah. way to look at that. So this has the same type of gear oil or transmission fluid basically as most other vehicles then? So like ATF, so automatic okay. transmission fluid yep. that gets put in there. It's like a red color uh, when it's new. We started doing a lot of oil changes on these over the last few years and typically they're coming out more grayish color than they are red. It's original ATF fluid apparently. You know, it's important to get this stuff replaced. Mm -hmm. That roadster that you guys were just working on, the yellow one, yep. we had a metal flakes in the oil. Yes. What was causing that i guess in that gearbox that car had a history i guess it was in a collision at some point in or, its past yeah, earlier yep so we found some wear on here just a little bit of that wear on both sides indicates that this is bent and then we were able to measure it out and it had just a slight bend in it this is connected to the shift mechanism which throws the arm and then activates the shift paw and so what was happening was we, f we got the car up and going. We kept hearing this noise. And so we knew something within the system was not correct. And so draining the oil kind of verified that we had accelerated wear on the gear and on the shift arm itself, the paw. So once we took it apart, we saw all that. Now, you were also saying that there's a differential that goes in there, which connects to the two half shafts. And yes. you've got a couple yep, of them in the right front here. there. Yeah. Is it true that Tessa continued to use the same differential? So there's the same designs, two different changes on them, but what we found in the S's disassembling them is basically the same part as what's on the Roadster. The Roadsters can take a lot of torque as far as differentials go. We've only seen, I think, two of these explode from guys drag racing with sticky tires where the actual gears inside have had an issue, but not in the Roadsters. That's been on one of the Model S's that the customer came in that was making noise and wouldn't drive very well.